bring into you part five of Fallout 3. Let's continue. Now, in case you guys forgot or don't remember what I did last episode, I essentially escaped Vault 101 after my dad left, and right now I am heading to the closest city, which is Megaton. Now, if you guys haven't heard of Megaton, if you don't know what Megaton is, it's Megaton. You'll find out what it is in a couple of minutes when I get over there. And holy fucking shit, my character is slow as fuck. Alright, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna repair some stuff. Hold on a second. Fucking repair one of the 50 Vault 101 jumpsuits I have. I'll do that now. So, fucking. Alright. And then I'm hoping once we get there, I'll be able to do the Megaton quest. So we can get a house and we can start getting situated into the world. God, can my guy go any fucking slower? Like, holy shit, I can run faster than this. Like, I swear, it's as if he's running, like, he's doing everything in slow motion. Like, look. But, uh, it's whatever. Alright, so as you can see, this is Megaton. It looks like a fucking trash heap. Let's continue. Gate to Megaton. My name is Megjiganib, and I am visiting Megaton. Freddy Fears House is here for all your Halloween needs. Look at those costumes. Okay. Let's call the Lucas Den. Sims. Another newcomer. Name's Lucas Sims, town sheriff, and mayor too, when the need arises. I don't know why, but I like you, boy. Something tells me you're all right. I know. So welcome to Megaton. Just holler if you need something. Nice town you got. Friendly here. and well mannered. I think we're gonna get along just fine. <laughs> you treat my people nice, and you're welcome to stay as long as you'd like. To. Alrighty then. Message I'm received. glad we. Looking for my father. All right. Now, when you're doing this, one thing I recommend is because I've played this game obviously before. And I, like I said, I am going to be doing a perfect character guide along the road. So I will be doing all that, like, perfect, perfectionist Fallout 3 stuff. I recommend doing the quest for Walter. You can talk to him, do the... I'm looking for my father, middle-aged guy. What can I do to help around here? He's going to ask you to plug up these pipes. And I can speak to Colin Moriarty about... The pipes, and I also recommend the easiest armor to get into the game is probably right here. Is talk to Moira Brown and go inside a crater side supply. She's kind of a fire crotch, so let's talk hey, to her. I hear you're that stray from the vault. Oh, I haven't seen one of you for years. Good to meet you. Moira I'm Brown. Basically, hold on, I'm gonna read these. It was cramped, dark, and the food sucked. All right, we're gonna pick this. And if you talk to her, sorry for skipping over the audio, I'm just trying to get through this. She gives you... Alright, sorry about this. You want to get that quest, we're going to be doing that later, sorry I was rushing it. But I just wanted to get the vault, uh, the armored vault 101 jumpsuit. This is like some of the easiest I'm gonna get. So let's go investigate, um, oh, lag spike. Let's go investigate Moriarty's saloon and find out what's going on. As you can see, Megaton is just a big crater in the ground and the whole reason it is called Megaton is because there is a nuke in the center of the city. So, Moriarty's saloon. Skin. You need something? A drink, maybe? Hey, you're not gonna hit me, yell at me, not even berate me a little bit? No. I hadn't planned on it. Well, now, that's a surprise. I'm used to every asshole smooth skin in this town giving me shit just because I look like a corpse. I'm glad to see that there are a few worthwhile people around here. Listen. Moriarty'd have my head if he caught me selling at a discount. Yeah, I'm sure he would. You. 
I will cut your zombie looking ass. Oh, gained good karma. Okay. Oh yeah. I honestly, I usually keep my head down. Sorry, smooth skin. I can't take the risk. You just gave Sorry, me a you risk. You're willing to sell me, you son of a bitch. Nah, I'm not gonna kill Gob. I like Gob. Colin Moriarty, at your service. Welcome to Moriarty. My saloon, my home, my slice of heaven in this backwoods little burg. You've okay. got the caps, I've got your pleasures. Please sit down, make yourself comfortable. Your troubles are a thing of the past. Hmm. Have you seen my father? Oh my god, it's you. The little baby boy all grown up. Persistent little bastard, ain't ya? Then and now, it would seem. It's been a long time, kid. Oh, your daddy passed through I've here. I've never met you. Here and gone. Got what he came for and then left. Is that what your father told you? That you were born in that hole? That he was born there as well? Oh, the lies we tell to those we love. Your father brought you to the vault right after you were born. To keep you safe, you see. I remember it well. You stayed in my saloon after all. That's right. Mm. Your father... Interesting. If you guys hear anything in the background, I apologize. Ah, but life goes on. Daddy lied. Life's full of little disappointments. And now you're all grown up and wondering where he's gone to. Mm -hmm. Hail the overseer, we're born in the vault, we die in the vault, and all that other assorted lunacy. Mm -hmm. Kid, That's what I was told. I was kidding, Dad talked to him. Did he? Well, our time together was brief. Oh, I got a success. Let's that speak. is the way of it, I see. When a bond is forged, little else matters, hmm? Well, he did come through here, but he left. I'm truly sorry. But maybe you can catch up to him. He headed southeast into the city. Said he needed information from those loanies at the station. You know, Galaxy News Radio. Galaxy there is News Radio with three dolls. Okay. So now, let's talk to Mr. Burke. Yeah, you need something? My, my. Just when I had all but given up hope. My dear boy. And you, well, you are not a resident of this putrescent cesspool. Finally, someone with a modicum of civility and common sense. I represent certain interests, and those interests view this town, this megaton, as a blight on a burgeoning urban landscape. You have no connections here, no interest in this cesspool's affairs or fate. You could assist us in erasing this little accident off the map. I very well can. I'm listening. The undetonated atomic bomb for which this town is named is still very much alive. All it needs is a little <laughs> motivation. I have in my possession a fusion pulse charge constructed for a singular purpose. Detonation of that bomb. You'll rig it to the bomb then you'll get paid handsomely. What do you say? Is that the best you can do? Mm. I'm afraid I'm not impressed. Oh. Back again. I'll do it. X. Now. Lack the aptitude for you. You're not rewiring. Thing, just attaching the pulse charge. Well, I think this playthrough I'm gonna be a bad motherfucker, so. A travel. Let's let me do a couple of things. If I am gonna be blowing up Megaton, there's a couple of things I have to do. I got the Wasteland Survival Guide. I know everyone's like, why are you gonna be bad? Well, because yeah. last playthrough I did good, so. Let's be bad. Um, my phone just vibrated. Alrighty then. Let me go on the crater side. 
I'm just gonna kill everybody, fuck it. All this shit shall be mine. I'm just gonna walk in here and... Oh god, he's not dying fast. about to get real on me. The rad roach meat. Drop. Alright. Now. I'm not gonna kill Moira because I actually in order to continue doing the crater side supply mission. But I am gonna be taking this shit. Back to the terminal. Uh, I may have to reload this. I might just blow it up and not take anything. I don't know. I haven't exactly decided. Hmm. Do I want to blow up Megaton? Now, in case you guys don't know how to hack computers in Fallout, you just have to find the, the, the word that matches up. of this shit. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna load this back up and just plant the bomb instead. I do not want to. Maybe I just realized once I step outside, I'm going to cause mass mayhem. And while I do want this stuff, I don't want to die doing it. So instead, I'm just gonna rig the bomb to explode. Go into Lucas's Lucas Sims house, grab the strength bobblehead, and be on my merrily way. And I have the, I believe I have the. Yes, I have the wasteland survival guide for us. So go ahead. Alright, we're good. Let's rig. Explosive skill 25 or higher. Skills. Explosives, alright. Now I know I've never I need some mentats. Boost my skills up. Come on, let's go. Alright, we know store. Oh. Well, God. Damn it. I. Hey, I got the stash. Uh, I need mentats. Alright. We're gonna rig this bomb to explode, and then I'm gonna end part five. Ah, look. What? I left all that behind. You know? But no. Oh, I have too high of a karma. Damn, I want to follow it. All right, we got to. 
I'll grab this dude's stash and sorry if you guys see messages that pop up. Alright, where the fuck? Oh, damn, this house is over there. This is going out past the 15 minute mark. Fuck. Alright, fuck it. We have to fuck it. We're past the 15 minute mark. We'll go we'll grab his chems and plant the detonator. And that'll be it for part 5. Sorry guys if this was a boring part. I was trying to stay concentrated. And if the volume was better for this, please let me know. Because I know part 1 and 4, the mic was quieter, but I did a little bit of adjusting on the editing, so I hope it was better. Alright, so, let's go over here. Give me a ship. Now, I should be able to. Mentax. Explosive study. Alright, let's plant this shit. Now, th here's the thing though, with this, you also, when you do it, Megaton's gonna be gone, you guys are gonna be seeing the explosion next part, likely. Attempt to disarm the bomb, rid the bomb to explode. Alright, now, report to Mr. Book in Ten Penny Tower. Alright guys, this is the end for part 5, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please stay tuned to Gaudum Gaming. Like, favorite, subscribe, do all that good stuff, and keep on gaming.